Thanks, Matt. Well, of course, no one investigates like News 4. One of our top investigators, Luke Moretti, has been working the scene throughout Western New York for years. Great stories, great investigations. One several years ago about nuclear waste in Niagara County, which spurred you to tonight's investigation. Yeah, we uh, there, there is a facility out in Niagara County. It's actually uh, in the town of Lewiston, and um, it is called the Niagara Falls Storage Site. And, and the entire site is about 191 acres or so. But within that particular site, there is a 10-acre site mm -hmm. that is a interim waste container structure and essentially when you look at it uh, it looks like a big giant hill and uh, well groomed by the way well groomed but underneath as you can see it there is um, a lot of material from the atomic weapons program from the 1940s when they were building the bombs mm -hmm. okay that's buried in the ground there there used to be buildings they demolished them and they were trying to figure out what are we going to do in the interim, you know, temporary storage sites. So they put them in the foundations of the building and then they covered the top with a clay cap. So that material has been there and it is operated and uh, maintained essentially by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. What they have been doing over the years is trying to figure out what they're going to do with the stuff. Does it stay there and do they enhance the site? Uh, do they move it to another facility somewhere across the country? I don't know who would want to take it, but, you know, obviously there are places that, uh, that do that. But we thought, you know, based on recent events in this day and age, with this kind of radioactive material mm -hmm. that's in the ground, what are they doing to protect this particular site? Now, in 2008, we were allowed to go actually on the site, as you saw in the video. We actually went on top of the clay cap no and we're conducting interviews. When I asked this time to have access to the site, they said, no, no, it's restricted. We're not really? letting anybody in there, basically. We don't want any cameras or anything like that, which I thought was kind of interesting. That's a, you know, that's a big that's change yeah. from 2008. So uh, we wanted to look at some of the things they're doing out there to make sure that this uh, site is protected because, you know, in case of a possible breach, well, you know, right. you, you, you think about like, you know, a natural disaster, like an earthquake or mm -hmm. something like that. If that opened up and exposed some of this material, you know, and you're talking about gamma radiation, you're talking about uh, potential exposure of radon gas and those sorts of things, or if someone had, you know, a criminal intention. Right. You know, we, we you know, it wasn't long ago they were flying planes in the buildings, right? right? So these are the kinds of things we wanted to kind of take a closer look at. All right, and how safe are we? And that's what you're looking at tonight on News 4 We're, at 6? We are going to look at that tonight, uh, News 4 at 6, yeah. All right, very so, good. Luke right. Always a pleasure. We're going to send Dana. things now over to Jordan.